This call is being recorded. Welcome to Ask Win, everyone, and Thoughts with CP on a beautiful Tuesday morning. I, I think you're going to laugh at me at this point. For those of you who've never seen the movie Groundhog Day with Bill Mill, with Bill Milley, you will not get my edit, but I think we're all stuck in the movie Groundhog Day, and the premise behind that movie is Groundhog Day gets taken over, and day after the day after the day, they try and do the Groundhog thing, I think it's all about a week, so now we're all stuck in Groundhog Day. The only, the only reason why I say this is because I saw it on Facebook, pulling it out, and I'm like, okay, that's, <laughs> that's what I added. That's what I added to right there. We're all stuck in Groundhog Day. No, only kidding. But um, I have a huge announcement for you guys. Do you, those of you that follow me on the Facebook, um, including Dan, you'll notice Dan, y'all, and I have decided. Well, I have decided to talk to you guys about why I'm going into journalism, and then I have a huge announcement for you guys. And this is an announcement I'm sticking with after. Many, 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 many hours of soul searching. Thank you very much. And I also have a huge programming announcement because you guys don't care. The, not to say that the podcast isn't going anywhere, not to say this podcast is going strong. So, um, number one, the programming announcement number two is. Well, the programming announcement number one, and then I'll do programming announcement number two. The number one episode, the number one programming announcement is we are aiming for at least 2,000 episodes, if not more. I'm at 1,300 plus now um, between thoughts with CP and then. Um, I am at, and then all my interviews, so I'm at 1,300 now, well, I mean, for 2,000, and I need your help. I need you guys to help me find people now, even though um, I'm finding people on my own. I want my fan base to be sending a little bit more of information as to people they know as to people um, you think would be interesting for you. I'm primarily looking for health coaches, ple- health coaches, educators, even though I have the amazing voices of teachers, I think educators need to be involved with us. We're now health coaches, educators, and people with disabilities, of course. So, house coaches, educators, and people with disabilities, and we'll throw interesting stories in there for the mix. But house coaches, educators, people with disabilities are going to be my main focus. And so, that's, that's announcement number one. And then announcement number two is that... Um, we are doing every Thursday, two episodes every Thursday. You guys know that, and that's the way we roll on that one. Announcement number three is going to be that I am going to actually turn my camera on um, every time I do an interview because I, you guys don't care. You guys just want to see me, and you guys don't care how how I look at this point. I mean, so Uber Conference on Laptop has 
the capabilities of doing camera camera mode, and I'm just going to turn the camera on every time you see me on this Uber conference now, and then Zoom, I'm proceeding with Zoom with caution, only because they got hacked, and that's a mess and a half. So, for those of you who are using Zoom, update it, um, update your laptop. So, especially those of you on the PC side, update, 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 so you can um, not get a virus from the um, hacking of Zoom, because that's my biggest fear, is that that people will get the, yes, the coronavirus will jump to the laptop, I'm only kidding. But that's my, um, that's my biggest fear is that all of us working from home, we will get viruses from Zoom, Zoom, Z-O-O-M being hacked. And so for those of you that use Zoom, update, update, update everything, make sure everything is up to date. And then, yeah, you should be good on that. And the, okay, we did announcement number one. We did announcement number two. We did announcement number three. And the first announcement, after my journalism degree, I am going for my psychology degree. I have not decided where yet. I have a funny feeling that it will be back at Ashford and I will transfer all my English classes into it or it may be Southern New Hampshire University but yes I'm going for my psychology degree. No one can show me now. It's out in the universe. So yes I'm going out for my um psychology degree because as I said um, and I don't know if you guys know this but my dad got a psychology degree and of course he didn't use it I will be using mine I will be heavily using my journalism degree too so yep I am going for both degrees a double um, bachelor's slash a uh, master's degree slash possibly a doctor. And so we'll see what happens. But um, I graduate in uh, April of 2022 from my um, journalism degree that I'll be reapplying in September to start the psychology program because, yeah. You guys need help. I'm watching it online. I'm watching you guys. This is the great left, right, and center. And yeah, I am doing it for you guys. And I'm doing it for um, the to yet to prove people wrong again. So the reason why I'm going into journalism is journalism. Is Alexa stop? Thank you. Um, journalism is something I wanted to do more, um, more than ever now, more than education. And unfortunately for me, I got laid off of education. Although um, I could go back into the classroom, there's a fat chance of heck I'll be going back into the classroom because the classroom is way too stressful, way too much, and way too, um, I sat on the diversity and inclusion committee for about a half a year, and we did not make as much progress as I hope we had made. No, nope, 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 nope. And then when the um, situation at hand happened, I know a lot of teachers went health to skelter. A lot of teachers 
moved <laughs> and went to Helter Skelter because they want certain for the future. So that's why I'm bringing more of, even though I have an amazing bunch of the teachers, which is strictly on education, my son and final podcast, but um, I'm bringing the voices of teachers on Ask When just to help them out. And so if you guys know any teachers, please let myself and Daniel know. And so the reason why I'm going into journalism is because I, those of you that have been sticking around Ask When for a long time, know that I was blessed enough to go to Washington, D.C. in eighth grade, and I was blessed enough to um, see a story drop at NPR and um, National Public Radio NPR. Well, I was so fascinated by the equipment itself that I thought, this is cool. If I could land up by by mic um alexa stop alexa off and then um alexa stop alexa's being on the way you guys <laughs> and so, yeah and then the L had a cat on top of the snowy <laughs> wall snowy <laughs> wall and so uh, welcome <laughs> to coronavirus podcasting <laughs> only kidding and so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the other laughing at me because I said, "This is how we all," and so this is, and I'll leave that stuff in so you guys hear what we're going on. Uh, so, um, well, was I? Oh, yeah, I was saying that NPR um, was a fascinating structure to me, and so I, um, I decided way back when to go um, into journalism. By the time I was in the school, I knew what I wanted to do. Well, of, of unfortunately, my mom sent me into the education field. I didn't send myself into the education field, you guys. My mother sent me into the education field. I, yay, 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 yay. I have rescued, I have rescued more people out of education to come and work with me than um, one of the boys you've already heard on the podcast, Kristen Kell, and she was a previous aide of mine. Go back and listen to that episode. And then I'm working, I'm slowly but surely working on a special episode with someone who knows about this podcast who may shock you and who knows so much about this podcast, yet she hasn't been on this podcast. And no, it's not that, you know. And so I am, as soon as things settle down enough so that we can get this we call it this podcast done as soon as things settle down enough so by now by now everyone's in flux enough that i i can grab the people that i can grab but as soon as this monkey business is over i'm going to produce a very very actually it's going to turn into two very special episodes if I don't watch it out. And so two very special episodes are coming your way and it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting because I have people know in my life I have this podcast. They've sat behind the scenes long enough for long enough now that they should know the ropes by now, but it's going to be, these two very different episodes are going to be very, very special. And once the um, 
chaos comes down, we'll see what happens. And so maybe they will be out in the next couple of weeks. Maybe they will be out this summer. But I will certainly let you know when these two very special episodes come out because um, these very special episodes are going to be very interesting. And so let's see what, let's see what the universe holds. And so, Daniel, do you want to chime in on any, anything as far as what I just stated and as far as what I just said? I have well, two degrees it is. Two yeah. degrees it is. I'm like, oi, might as well do it now, you guys. Might as well do it now. And then I, um, as I said, I'm not giving up journalism for love of money. So I'm not transferring programs um, just to get the psychology degree. I'm actually waiting to get to finish out the journalism degree. Then I, um, then I have to decide what I be applied to ask for a go to Southern New Hampshire University. And so, yeah, yeah, I'm actually going to be doing it. And then I'm actually going to get um, a doctorate and be able to help you guys learn more mentally. And then we'll see. So, Daniel, do you want to lead everyone out? Yeah. Thank you for following us, you guys, and have an amazing week. Do not, do not get panicked by everything that's going on. Yikes, it's not good, but the less you panic, the more strong we're going to be, and this is... Ah, this is tough on all of us, including myself and Danielle. Danielle and I haven't seen each other. How long has it been, Danielle? Um, I left on uh, I left the week of your birthday. Then, um, then I fly home to all this monkey business. So, and the first person I'm going to talk is you, by the way. And so, <laughs> yeah. And so, wait. you can't wait. Well, she can't wait. And so, um, so I don't know if that hug is going to be in August, you guys. Uh, hopefully in June. Hopefully. Hopefully. But um, we're, we're in Chelsea in place mode, at least until May. And so, I don't know if that, if that hug will be, it won't be a social distance hug, I can tell you that much right now. And so I don't know if that hug will be in June, or I don't know if that hug will be in August, but this journalist is paying attention and trying to do the best I can for what um, the circumstances at hand, and I'm trying to give myself also keep myself out of the ER, yes, and keep myself from falling over and cracking my head open. And so I want you guys to have a good week. Something tells me that now that we're all but the shock and panic of this week, it's going to be a good week. Thanks to you guys, and I'll see you on Thursday. Bye, you guys. Bye.